Organizations that are developing ever larger scale out applications will leave no stone unturned in their search for a compute platform that meets their needs. For example, let's say you're building a Java application or a web server for an IoT use case that analyzes live video data from warehouse floors to identify labor quality issues. This brings the challenges of achieving scale out high performance computing power while keeping costs down. For many, that means looking into the ARM architecture. ARM-based chips are already ubiquitous in mobile devices and IoT use cases like smart cars, drones, and more. And this is possible because ARM-based processors run at consistently high frequencies and are built with large, low-latency private caches, providing high-performance computing power while having low power consumption. Sounds amazing, right? But you might not know that ARM-native processors have proven themselves for supercomputing workloads and are increasingly seen as a viable option for the next generation of scale-out cloud-native workloads. Yeah, we're talking compute-intensive workloads like media transcoding, desktop, laptop, server machine devices, and high-performance computing used in even some of the fastest supercomputers in the world. And when deployed in the cloud, they can enable users to scale linearly, provide predictable performance, and provide the highest density of cores at a lower price point. The good news is ARM has arrived at Google Cloud. Last year, we added Tau VMs to Compute Engine, offering a new family of VMs optimized for cost-effective performance for scale-out workloads. We're now announcing our first VM family based on the ARM architecture, Tau T2A. Powered by Ampere Ultra ARM-based processors, T2A VMs deliver exceptional single-threaded performance at a compelling price. Tau T2A VMs come in multiple predefined VM shapes with up to 48 vCPUs per VM and 4 gigabytes of memory per vCPU. They offer up to 32 gigabits per second networking bandwidth and a wide range of network attached storage options, making Tau T2 AVMs ideal for scale out workloads, including web servers, containerized microservices, data logging processing, media transcoding, and large scale out Java applications. The key win here is the integration with the Google Cloud ecosystem. Tau T2A VMs support most popular Linux operating systems, such as Red Hat Enterprise Linux, CentOS, Ubuntu, and Rocky Linux. In addition, T2A VMs also support container-optimized OS to bring up Docker containers quickly, efficiently, and securely. If you already have an existing ARM workload, switching to the new T2A VMs follows the same process you already use to manage your Google Compute Engine VMs. It's easy to move between ARM and x86 architectures for most applications. And in fact, most web applications written in Java, JavaScript, C Sharp, Python, Ruby, et cetera, don't even need to recompile. And most Go programs should work after a recompile. If you run your applications in containers and orchestrate them using Kubernetes, you might want to check out what's new in Google Kubernetes Engine. GKE users will be able to incorporate T2A VM node pools into their clusters. You can use ARM nodes in GKE and the new managed mode GKE Autopilot to explore how you can develop, test, and deploy your containers on the ARM architecture. Our newly launched batch service supports T2A. Now you can run batch jobs on T2A instances to optimize your cost of running workloads. And for streaming analytics and batch processing, you can now use T2A VMs with your data flow workloads. Stay tuned as we add T2A support for more Google Cloud services later this year. Please note that this initial offering has a few limitations. For example, T2A VMs don't currently offer high CPU or high mem configs, custom machine types, local SSDs, or GPU support. But the feature set will change in the future generations, so please be sure to take a look at the documentation. Google Cloud customers and developers can now have the option of choosing an Ampere Ultra cloud-native processor to test, develop, and run existing workloads less expensively or build new applications with better economics and performance. It gives you more optionality and have cost-effective alternatives to traditional x86 servers. There are more ARM chips rolling out in the future, and features will be added over time. So now is a pretty good time to go and explore this offering and see how it can help you save a little bit of money. To learn more, head over to the links in the description for more information about the new ARM VMs. And be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest and greatest from the Google Cloud Tech channel.